and you use Adobe Premiere. This ain't it. This just is not for you. It doesn't matter if you spec if it If you out, are a Premiere Pro matter. user and oh you gosh, have your really eyes on the new MacBook M1 processor, silicon based chip, whatever laptop, you're wondering whether this is any good for video editing or not. In today's video, I want to touch this topic. Recently, Sarah Diet, she, she posted a video telling that you should not buy this laptop for Premiere Pro editing. Let's find this out. I want to check the playback, okay? That's one of the most important. I'm not the type of guy who will create the proxies and wait for that. No, if I pay this amount, I would like to smoothly edit the original high quality footage what I shot. Also, I don't like to go through the footages without colors. First, I color grade my footage, then I edit. Now, obviously I'm not color grading the entire project. I'm just putting some effect on it so that I can see how the footage is looking like and then edit it. And usually that's a, that's a heavy task for the computer. This video is not sponsored by Apple nor Skillshare, unfortunately, because I don't have enough subscribers. It's gonna whatever. be two parts video. The first part, I want to address all of my workflow. I'm shooting with a7 III and how can this editing machine manage these footages and and in the part two, I'm going to do what you're gonna ask right now in the comments, okay? Is there any specific question you have me to test right on this? As you can see that I'm not an Apple fan, so I'm not going to be favoring anything to this MacBook just because it's Apple. Without further ado, let's just jump into the Premiere Pro and see how can this manage, let's say, wedding film editing. Test number one is that the amount of time it takes for Premiere Pro to launch. So here we go and let's go. Let's push it and let's wait. I'm going to speed this up, most problem. And I think this is one of the hardest part because um, it takes quite a while to start and launch. And here it is 15 minutes, 15 seconds, no. It's still not low, okay, 19 seconds. So the first I'm going to be testing in full HD timeline because that is what I usually do. Importing A7 III full wedding, okay? And here we go. Let's see. Look at that. Oh my God. And that is it. That was exactly nine seconds, less than nine seconds. This is crazy. All right. So now that we have this imported, this is full HD timeline and the full HD uh, footage of A7 III. Okay, and let's bring down the whole footage on the timeline. This is the old footage. This is what I usually do, bring down all the footage and then scrub through it and go through. And look at this, I don't, there is no delay. I have, I'm telling you. This is crazy. You can watch the whole footage without okay here is the playback double speed triple speed not even a frame drop this is crazy and don't forget this is a full quality playback right <laughs> so here you can see that this is full triple the speed it's not it's not crushing nothing let's add some colors add some contrast let's add some saturation let's crank it up to 130 add more curve okay let's put some blues into shadows i don't know still okay there is a little delay but come on that that's crazy this playing full oh, eight gigabytes of ram let's multiply this color grade twice Okay, I know this is ridiculous. I would never color grade this heavy, but look at this. It's two adjustment layers on the full amount of two hours footage in the timeline, scrubbing through. I don't know what Sarah was talking about. It's not crushing, it's just going crazy, double. Okay, here is a little bit delay now, okay? But come on, it's still good. I'm happy about this, it's playing perfectly. All right, okay, I have to move on to the next timeline. Let's export, I don't know, my usual weddings are around five to 10 minutes. Let's say seven minutes. Let's put it here and export this one right here in full HD A7 III footage. 
So while it's exporting, I'm going to open some websites. Let's go to YouTube because that's and play some some videos probably from Blacklist. I don't want to get copyright issues, so I mute this. Video is playing still here. Still going on. Rewind. It works. What's happening to Premiere? Here we go, four more minutes. So six minutes and 31 seconds to export six minutes and 53 seconds video. So almost seven minutes video. So it's like one to one. I think it's perfect. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to apply some warp stabilizer. So we have a heavy color graded timeline in full HD one more time, two adjustment layers, two verb stabilizers. Let's put more stabilizers and time remap. Okay, let's put some time remap. Speed it up. Ooh, this is great. Let's speed up this footage here. Speed on reverse, okay, and speed to 500. I'm curious what's gonna happen now. And it's color graded, okay. Look at this. This is crazy. Heavy color grade, reversed and speed together and it's playing. It's playing without any crush, any delay, I don't know. Okay, let's speed up everything to 900. There, this one's here, right here you can see and have a color grade on full HD timeline and let's play it. Let's see what happens. Okay, there is a delay. Right, but this is the first time I've seen this delay. And and actually if I just stop and play it again, it, it works. My, my i9 computer PC is not doing this. Look at this, and it's, it's two adjustment layers. I'm, I don't have problem with this, to be honest with you. I'm gonna have Sony A7S 3 footage in 4K and 50 FPS. I'm I'm not sure, maybe it's 25 FPS. I'm gonna have A7 III 4K footage in S-Log. This is A7 III footage, A7 S. I'm not seeing any delay. Okay, here is the delay. All right, there is a little bit of delay here. But come on, this is still good for editing, especially, look, scrubbing through the footage like this. Let's see, A7S 3 footage was even hard on my PC. So let's play this. Here is a little problem. Yeah, so there is a lag for A7S footage. I'm very much interested. Okay, this is complete garbage. Nice, good to know. But A7 3 4K footage, it's playing okay. There is no problem with this. This is not color graded yet. I'm gonna try color grading, double speed, has a little lag, but to be honest, this lagging for me is fine, we are playing in full resolution, okay, but the A7S 3 footage is a little bit difficult to manage, you see, even normal play playback is not good, okay, let's see, let's lower the preview resolution, what happens then? I'm afraid it's still not going to play well. Okay, so the A7S3 footage is having problem here. And let's just work with A7 3 4K footage. More contrast, curve. All right. And let's put some more colors in it. Like that. That's now. Okay, let's go back to the full resolution to play. Go to the editing and play it. Now I go in the beginning and play it. It plays back perfectly. Let's scrub through the footage. It works. No delays, no crashes yet, nothing. Okay, I'm happy with this. Okay, A7 III footage is all right with color grade. Let's add warp stabilizer here. is right here okay two minutes and 
15 seconds for warp stabilizing, 15 seconds 4k footage. Look, this is, uh, I don't know, 15 seconds, I'm not really stabilizing. And now let's play it back, double speed. This is usually the hardest for, for double speeding. It works perfectly, I think. Let's make a cut and reverse this. So just to see the 4k reverse. And trust me that A7 III uh, is much harder coded than B row. B row is gonna play like very smoothly, but I'm going to find out why I could not import it. I'm going to do, let's say, one minute of this 4K to render. Okay, render it here and go. Again, one minute clip, approximately one minute to render out in 4K. It's color graded, yeah, it plays perfect. So let's export the five minutes color graded and it has warp stabilizer and it has uh, reverse and the color grade. So guys, there is no lag at all. 14, this is a 4K timeline and export. Yeah, for me this is done. All right, so 13 minutes and 22 seconds for exactly like four minutes and 50 seconds video clip in 4K. Uh, 